An astronomical body's Hill sphere is the region in which it dominates the attraction of satellites. The outer shell of that region constitutes a zero-velocity surface. To be retained by a planet, a moon must have an orbit that lies within the planet's Hill sphere. That moon would, in turn, have a Hill sphere of its own. Any object within that distance would tend to become a satellite of the moon, rather than of the planet itself. One simple view of the extent of the solar system is the Hill sphere of the Sun with respect to local stars and the galactic nucleus. In more precise terms, the Hill sphere approximates the gravitational sphere of influence of a smaller body in the face of perturbations from a more massive body. It was defined by the American astronomer George William Hill, based on the work of the French astronomer Edouard Roche. For this reason, it is also known as the Roche sphere, not to be confused with the Roche limit or Roche lobe. In the example to the right, Earth's Hill sphere extends between the Lagrangian points L1 and L2, which lie along the line of centers of the two bodies. The region of influence of the second body is shortest in that direction, and so it acts as the limiting factor for the size of the Hill sphere. Beyond that distance, a third object in orbit around the second e the moon, would spend at least part of its orbit outside the Hill sphere, and would be progressively perturbed by the tidal forces of the central body e the sun, eventually ending up orbiting the latter. <laughs> Formula and examples If the mass of the smaller body e Earth is m m and it orbits a heavier body e.g. sun of mass m display style m with a semi major axis a display style a and an eccentricity of e display style e then the radius r h display style r underscore mathrm h of the hill sphere of the smaller body e.g. earth calculated at paracenter is approximately r h approximately equals a 1 minus e m 3 m 3 display style r underscore mathrm h approximately a 1 e sqrt 3 frac m 3 m when eccentricity is negligible, the most favorable case for orbital stability, this becomes R H approximately equals A M three M three display style R underscore mathrm H approximately a sqrt three frac M three M in the Earth example, the Earth 5.97 times 1024 kilograms orbits the sun 1.99 times 1030 kilograms at a distance of 149.6 million kilometers or 1 astronomical unit o. Oh. The Hill sphere for Earth thus extends out to about 1.5 million kilometers 0.01 astronomical units. The Moon's orbit, at a distance of 0.384 million kilometers from Earth, is comfortably within the gravitational sphere of influence of Earth and it is therefore not at risk of being pulled into an independent orbit around the Sun. All stable satellites of the Earth, those within the Earth's Hill sphere, must have an orbital period shorter than seven months. The previous eccentricity ignoring formula can be restated as follows: three r h three 3 approximately equals m m display style 3 frac r underscore mathrm h caret 3 a caret 3 approximately frac m m this expresses the relation in terms of the volume of the hill sphere compared with the volume of the second body's orbit around the first specifically the ratio of the masses is 3 times the ratio of the volume of these two spheres the expression for the hill radius can be found by equating gravitational and centrifugal forces acting on a test particle of mass much smaller than m orbiting the secondary body. Assume that the distance between masses m and m is r and that the test particle is orbiting at a distance 
R H display style R underscore mathrm H from the secondary. When the test particle is on the line connecting the primary and the secondary body, the force balance requires that G M R H two minus G M R minus R H two plus Omega two R minus R H equals zero Display style FRAC GM R underscore mathem H carrot two FRAC GM RR underscore mathem H carrot two plus Omega carrot two RR underscore mathem H equals zero where G display style G is the gravitational constant and Omega equals G M R three Display style omega equals sqrt frac gm r caret three is the Keplerian angular velocity of the secondary about the primary, assuming that m m display style m l l m. The above equation can also be written as m r h two minus m r two one minus R H R minus two plus M R two one minus R H R equals zero Display style FRAC M R underscore Mathem H carrot two FRAC M R carrot two left one FRAC R underscore Mathem H R right carrot minus two plus FRAC M R carrot two left one FRAC R underscore Mathem H R right equals zero. Which through a binomial expansion to leading order in R H R Display style R underscore Mathem H R becomes M R H two minus M R two one plus two R H R plus M R two one Minus R H R approximately equals M R H two minus M R two three R H R approximately equals zero. Display style FRAC M R underscore Mathem H carrot two FRAC M R carrot two left one plus two FRAC R underscore Mathem H R right plus FRAC M R carrot two left one FRAC R underscore Mathem H R right approximately FRAC M R underscore Mathem H carrot two FRAC M R carrot two left three FRAC R underscore Mathem H R Right, approximately zero. Hence, the relation stated above R H R approximately equals M three M three display style frac R underscore mathrm H R approximately sqrt three frac M three M Notice that, if the orbit of the secondary about the primary is elliptical, the Hill radius is maximum at the apocenter, where R is largest, and minimum at the paracenter of the orbit. Therefore, for purposes of stability of test particles for example, of small satellites, the Hill radius at the paracenter distance needs to be considered. To leading order in R 
H R display style R underscore mathrm H R the hill radius above also represents the distance of the Lagrangian point L1 from the secondary. A quick way of estimating the radius of the hill sphere comes from replacing mass with density in the above equation. R H R S E C O N D A R Y approximately equals a r p r i m a r y rho s e c o n d a r y 3 rho P R I M A R Y three approximately equals A R P R I M A R Y Display style FRAC R underscore Mathem H R underscore Mathem secondary approximately FRAC A R underscore Mathem PR I marry SQRT three FRAC row underscore Mathem secondary three row underscore Mathem primary approximately FRAC A R underscore Mathem primary where row S E C O N D display style row underscore mathrm second and row P R I M A R Y display style row underscore mathrm primary are the average densities of the primary and secondary bodies and R S E C O N D A R Y display style R underscore mathrm secondary and R P R I M A R Y display style R underscore mathrm primary are their radii. The second approximation is justified by the fact that, for most cases in the solar system, rho s e c o n d a r y 3 rho p r i m a R Y three Display style SQRT three FRAC row underscore mathem secondary three row underscore mathem primary happens to be close to one. The Earth Moon system is the largest exception, and this approximation is within twenty percent for most of Saturn's satellites. This is also convenient, because many planetary astronomers work in and remember distances in units of planetary radii. Topic. True region of stability The Hill sphere is only an approximation, and other forces such as radiation pressure or the Yarkovsky effect can eventually perturb an object out of the sphere. This third object should also be of small enough mass that it introduces no additional complications through its own gravity. Detailed numerical calculations show that orbits at or just within the Hill sphere are not stable in the long term. It appears that stable satellite orbits exist only inside one half to one third of the Hill radius. The region of stability for retrograde orbits at a large distance from the primary is larger than the region for prograde orbits at a large distance from the primary. This was thought to explain the preponderance of retrograde moons around Jupiter. However, Saturn has a more even mix of retrograde prograde moons, so the reasons are more complicated. Topic: 
Further examples An astronaut could not have orbited the space shuttle with mass of 104 tons, where the orbit was 300 km above the Earth, because its hill sphere at that altitude was only 120 cm in radius, much smaller than the shuttle itself. A sphere of this size and mass would be denser than lead. In fact, in any low Earth orbit, a spherical body must be more dense than lead in order to fit inside its own hill sphere, or else it will be incapable of supporting an orbit. A spherical geostationary satellite, however, would only need to be more than 6% of the density of water to support satellites of its own. Within the solar system, the planet with the largest hill radius is Neptune, with 116 million kilometers, or 0.7750. Its great distance from the Sun amply compensates for its small mass relative to Jupiter, whose own hill radius measures 53 million kilometers. An asteroid from the asteroid belt will have a hill sphere that can reach 220,000 kilometers for one series, diminishing rapidly with decreasing mass. The hill sphere of 66391-1999 KW4, a Mercury crosser asteroid that has a moon S2001-66391-1, measures 22 kilometers in radius, a typical extrasolar hot Jupiter. HD 209458b, has a hill sphere radius of 593,000 km, about eight times its physical radius of approximately 71,000 km. Even the smallest close in extrasolar planet, Koro 7b, still has a hill sphere radius 61,000 km, six times its physical radius approximately 10,000 km. Therefore, these planets could have small moons close in, although not within their respective Roche limits. Topic: <inaudible> Solar System. The following logarithmic plot shows the hill radius in km of some bodies of the solar system. Topic: <inaudible> See also Interplanetary transport network N-body problem Sphere of influence astrodynamics Sphere of influence black hole Roche lobe Topic References Topic External links Can an astronaut orbit the space shuttle the moon that went up a hill, but came down a planet.